Okay, welcome to um, Inkscape Lesson 1. This is an introductory lesson um, to using a vector graphics program called Inkscape. Inkscape is available for a free download from the URL at the top of the page here. Okay, what we intend to achieve in this first lesson is just some of the basics of introduction to Inkscape. You're going to orient um, the page from portrait to landscape. You're going to magnify the page. Be some introduction to some basic in in Inkscape tools. Um, how to stroke and uh, color the e uh, interior of your objects. Um, how to make certain objects opaque or um, translucent and we'll look at the blur option. Okay, let's have a look at Inkscape. This is the basic Inkscape tool once it opens up and the first thing we want to do is change this page from portrait to landscape and we do that here in file and we go to document properties where if you look at document properties you can choose all manner of um, sizes of page, we'll choose A4 and here we can click from portrait to landscape and close this window. There, now we have our page oriented from portrait to landscape and if we look in the bottom right hand corner of the page we can see the magnification is currently set to 35% and if we just keep clicking on this option here we can magnify the page up to the size that we want. Obviously you can go up as large as you like. Over on the left hand side we have the basic toolbar um, that allows us to do most of the vector graphics creation that we wish to make. So the first thing we're going to start off with here is we're going to create a rectangle. You simply select the tool and draw the rectangle the size that you want. Now over in the top right hand corner here you can see this option here F and S. F means fill color, S means stroke color and it tells you how wide the um, stroke is. Currently the stroke is set to zero so there's no border on this object. And over here is an O with 0.8, that's the opacity or 89%. So in the bottom right hand corner there is more detail. If we wish to move these elements around the page we simply click on the um, arrow tool and as you can see um, as soon as we click on it these arrows appear and we can scale. Um, if we click inside the object we can now see that we can rotate the object by grabbing any one of the corners and we can rotate in any number of degrees that we wish to and click again and you can stretch in any direction and you can increase in proportion by grabbing the corners. So let's have a look at um, the fill and the um, stroke tools down here to actually um, get these working you click on the bottom left hand corner the color click down here and we get the fill and stroke toolbox come up and that these sliders allow enable us to change the color of the fill so you can just slide through those any way you like these first three the red green and blue channels and then this bottom channel here um, talk, enables us to um, talk about the opacity of the whole object and if we want to click on stroke here we can change the stroke color it's currently set to black but the value is set to zero so we want to put a stroke on here of five points click OK and now a, a stroke line appears so now we can come back to stroke paint color and we can change that to a different color if we wish to let's make it a red and finally come back to fill down here is the master opacity which basically says how see-through something is and you can see the effect of that in a moment by playing with the opacity and you have this really good tool called blur which is great for drop shadows etc if we blur this it looks like a um, edge of a shadow and once you're happy with the shape and color just click OK. If we add another box over the top now and change its opacity let's make this um, let's make this a different color so you can see the change and we make the master, master opacity 100%. Click OK. We've now we've now got a drop shadow. 
a potential drop shadow which of course if you click on the object down here you can you can scale it to make it look like a drop shadow.